Hi, hello, it's me. In case you missed my last video, I'm in Paris. I'm here for at least five or so weeks with two of my best friends and we're working remotely. We're staying in this beautiful apartment here and I've been working and exploring for about a week or so now. And today is actually my 25th birthday. <laughs> joke I woke up in Paris are you kidding me this is my first night in this apartment and I woke up and I'm 25 which is crazy but also feels right you know Ashley and Gabby are so sweet and they just made me some coffee and sang me happy birthday and brought these really cute balloons so I feel very loved and I'm excited this is like, like I said my first day in this apartment which is where for, we are for the month so I'm gonna go for a run along this side and just like have a little morning routine I'm excited I think it's gonna be a nice chill day We'll probably like go to the Eiffel Tower, go out for dinner later. We all gotta get some work done, so we're gonna do that as well. But yeah, oh my god, I can't believe I'm in Paris for my birthday. So exciting. <laughs> as productive as I wanted because every time I turn a corner I see something like this and then I stop and take a photo this and then wait for it this it's so beautiful oh my god okay I need to keep running just got back from my run and showered off I came back to the sweetest surprise this is all I need in life to make me happy. Beautiful flowers. My parents wanted me to have flowers, so I think they bought this via my parents and bread. This pan of chocolat has to be one of the best I've ever had. It's so good. Oh my gosh. And this view? Literally no other way I'd rather spend my birthday. I my vlogging camera, so we're on the phone today. Oh my god, it was made for you. Oh. Wow, I cannot believe I finally made it to 25. I guess this means I'm ready for my quarter life crisis, which I just can't wait for. I know most people say that nothing feels different on their birthdays, but the last few months, let alone the insanity of the last year and a half, have been so tumultuous that I honestly do feel a shift. Something's changed for me. I feel like I'm entering a new season and oh my god, I am so ready. Even though this next season is definitely colored with so much uncertainty, I also feel confident that I finally have built a solid foundation moving forward in the things that matter. Incredible friends, a healthy relationship with my family, and I can say that I've lived a life of no regrets up until now where I feel like I've really chased after my dreams continuously. I feel like one of the things I finally learned to be proud of is how far I've come. I don't talk about my time often that came before I started documenting things on YouTube, but man, that shy and awkward girl so badly wanted a taste of the world and what it has to offer. I knew there was so much more out there for me, but I knew it was my fear and insecurity that ultimately stood in my way. 
There's so much I wish I could tell my younger self. First off, you are enough. Oh my God, you are enough as you are. Don't listen to anyone or anything that tells you otherwise. You're beautifully and wonderfully created and every time you're told you're not good enough or smart enough or skinny enough, interesting enough, pretty enough, successful enough, desirable enough, I wish I could tell you that you are indeed enough and nothing will ever change that. You have such an exciting future that awaits you. I know you can feel so lonely and unseen and unlovable, but oh my God, you're eventually going to meet the most beautiful people who fill your life to the brim with love. Keep seeking out people who make you feel most like yourself. Make sure to tell mom and dad and Sage and Quinn how much you love them and tell them often. They're your greatest cheerleaders and honestly the number one reason why you ultimately feel brave enough and capable of getting to where you'll end up down the line. You're so worthy of love. I know it feels impossible that someone will even like you back and want to get to know you, but you have so much love to give and receive and you're so deserving of it. Be kind to yourself, love and appreciate the body you have. That vessel is what allows you to go on adventures, to swim and to dance and to run and to see the world. Not something to battle against and tear down every damn day. Be kind when you look in the mirror and show yourself the love that you show others. Pay attention to those little moments. These are often the ones that can change the direction of your life. Say yes often. Keep pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone to create that life you dream of. Stop trying to rush to the next chapter because it will be over in the blink of an eye. Just slow down. I promise it does get better. In fact, it becomes unbelievably beautiful. Your gals. Your gals. We're just watching the sunset by the sand. Dream birthday. We just walked around for probably, what, an hour? An hour. Yeah. Ashley's working. She's being a little responsible gal. We've got the Louvre over here, other beautiful buildings behind us. Now we're gonna head back and have a little dinner and get ready. I'm feeling so grateful. Go out and treat our gal. Yeah. Good night That's ahead. Good. Great Yay. night. Shout out to my friend Hugo for all the wrecks. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to Soho Paris <laughs> for a little drink. <laughs> we'll see where the night takes us. Come on. <laughs> the night is young. Show off the fit. Yeah, show off I have a trench coat it. from the Couples. Borrow this top <laughs> from Ashley. Okay. Trousers that you can't really see. That's it. I'm getting nervous. Mm -hmm. On a date, kind of nervous. On a date, kind of nervous. Trying to film, kind of nervous. See you guys. We're back. On to the next. On to the next. It's a cute, what time? Midnight. Midnight. It's, a, it's a cute midnight. She's precious. <laughs> we are on the way to another little bar, and then we're going to our friends, our new friend's houseboat, and then, and the then to the cube. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to dance. Excuse me, okay. miss. Where did you come from? <laughs> we're all the main characters. Actually, you're the main character. That's right. Kick that leg. Where are we? got ready for the day. Um, yesterday was delightful. I had the most beautiful birthday. It was so nice to just spend it kind of like slow, exploring the city. Got to just like talk with my best friends and you know we talked a lot about like what this past year was like and like what we're looking forward to in the future year and yeah it was just such a beautiful day. I have some friends in your crew Parisian and they introduced me to some of their friends and so we went out with them last night for the second time actually. They're super cool and 
super fun. And now this morning, I'm heading out to go meet Jack, who's actually a booktuber here on YouTube. And we're gonna grab a little brunch, chat. It's always fun to meet other creators when I'm in a different city. He just moved here from London, so I'm excited to learn a little bit more about him. Also, I'm wearing my all-time favorite jewelry, as you can see. Misoma has become absolutely my favorite brand. I'm obsessed with them. Basically, every piece of jewelry I brought on this trip is from Misoma. Like, I love them so much. And they're actually sponsoring today's video, which is incredible. They are truly my go-to everyday jewelry. I love it because, as you can see, it's super easy to mix and match their pieces. I feel like that's what's so incredible about their necklaces in particular, is that it's like all these various lengths, styles, chain styles, you know, different pendants and whatnot. So I love to mix and match with the pieces I have. So it feels like I have like a fresh look every day that I'm getting ready. Soma's Black Friday sale is actually live now. Basically, the only time you'll be able to shop all of their products for 25% off, which is an incredible discount. They're great for yourself or it's like the holiday season coming up. It's a great place for gifts as well. What's also cool is they actually have partnered with Tree Sisters for their third year in a row. It basically means for every order, they plant a tree, which is just incredible. So you'll definitely be seeing me wear Misoma on basically all my Paris vlogs. Stay tuned. And yeah, I'm a really big fan of them. Definitely check them out below if you're looking for some new jewelry in your life or if you're looking for, you know, maybe a gift for someone you love. So check them out below. I'm a big fan. I am going to finish getting ready and then I'm gonna go meet Jack. So let's go. Hello, she's cute. Stroll. It's like the perfect weather. It's like 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So perfect for like a little coat. It's just so beautiful. Oh my god, she's got her room. I like the bottom too. These are fun. Gabby and Ashley are the chefs of the group, so I'm the designated bartender, aka just back here pouring some wine. <laughs> Gotta say, I love some four-year-old wine. Can't go wrong. Well, actually could go wrong. We'll find out. Delivering to each of my ladies. For you. So we're having a nice home cooked meal plate. Very <laughs> <laughs> simple, sweet, delicious. Thank <laughs> you. 